In the media pool of DaVinci Resolve, we can see a lot of information if we toggle on the list view. But what if you don't want to toggle on the list view and you actually like to work in the thumbnail view, but you would like to get a couple of information about the clips that you just selected? That's something that we now got with DaVinci Resolve 20, a new feature. And I show you in this video now how this works and what, it, what kind of information you get from that. So if we come here into the media pool, you maybe have noticed automatically it already showed me this. If you come here to this icon and you deactivate this, this is how it was before. This is the new feature. You can now show metadata palette. And this only shows you if you're not in the timeline. If you're in the timeline, this is this icon here, then you're in your timeline view. If you're here in the source view or in the source tape view, these are two options how you can see and view your media pool clips. Now you can activate this and when you click on your clips, you can see some of the metadata instantly. Like for example here, the frames and which resolution this one was. This was a 4K video or this one for example was just a 1920 by 1340, interesting frame rate. And then this one here. So this was just one of the many new features that we got with DaVinci Resolve version 20 here on the iPad. I created a complete video breaking down all of the features because there's a couple of features that you definitely should know about because they can make your editing work so much easier, so much faster. Definitely check out the video here. I will link this one here. And if you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe. By the way, I'm Daniel and on this channel, it's all about DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye, I'm Daniel.